Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another Arizona Wranglers game in my season. As you can see, we have played 11 games so far of 16. It is a 16-game season, even though the Wranglers and some others are a USFL team, and they played 18 in real life. Um, and uh, it's curious. I I put out a uh, a giveaway video that you might want to check out. It was very recent, and I will connect to that at the end of this video. But I asked people what team I should take next, and a lot of people said the New Jersey Generals. But as you can see up here, the computer New Jersey Generals are four and seven. So that will be an interesting experiment for me uh, when the time comes for me to play that. Uh, um, to play that but anyway um right now we are concerned about the arizona wranglers and they are six and five and today's game will be against dallas as you can see and we um are in dallas's division and they are two games better than we are so that's going to be a tough uh that's going to be a tough road for us, but we'll have to see what happens. Sometimes you're surprised. I mean, we handled Buffalo easily, and in real life, Buffalo was pretty good. And um, and even right now, they're six and five, just like we are. So, without any further ado, let's get this this uh, show on the road. Um. So let's say, yeah, uh, play one week. So it'll be interesting to see, because really right now the generals are leading in my poll, because I did take a poll to see who I should take in the next season. And as I say, the generals have overwhelmingly gotten the vote. So it'll be interesting to see if I can do a lot better than the computer has done with that. And it looks like we're gonna kick off to Dallas. And the game is in Dallas. And they're going to take a touchback. So, um, let's start off with a, a linebacker blitz just to see what, what happens. And nothing really as good as seems to be happening. Well, we did stop them after five yard, after a five yard gain on the pass. Uh, Dak Prescott is in at quarterback, and of course he's got Elliott as his running back. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to look for the run, and really I should have keyed on Elliott if I was going to do that. And it looks like an incomplete screen pass. So on third and five, yeah, keep the nickel in, and we're going to look for the pass. And let's see if we can stop him, and we can. It's incomplete. So Dallas will have to punt. I'll put in the punt return uh, um, defense. And as with, if you've watched my other football, um, my other football games that I do, um, I will, if the situation warrants, I will skip ahead in the game if it makes sense. I will also edit the video down at times that it makes sense to do, like if there's a quarter where there's no scoring, that type of thing to make the um, video not quite as long. So I'm going to start off with an end run to the halfback, Spencer. Spencer out of Ohio State, you might remember, and they let us play. So let's see no no it was on us first and 20 um i'm still gonna you know i'm gonna do that again i'm still gonna do that again and run with spencer they shouldn't be looking for it and they aren't and he does get some yards he got five yards there so now we got a second and 15. you know they probably shouldn't be looking for it again 
So I'm going to do it again. And he's not going to get many yards there, if any. No gain. So now we have a third and 15, and it has to be a short pass to the split end. I did get the suggestion to not uh, flat pass or um, look in pass quite as much. So I don't know if I'm really going to stick with that, but. Um, but I am going to try to see what happens. I mean, I'm all for experimenting and seeing what happens. Got a pretty good punt by Corral, but that's going to be a great return. Oh, that's going to be a great return. We're in trouble. So he's all of a sudden got a first and 10 at the Arizona 25 because of an awesome return on the punt. And I am going to run and key on Elliott. And that's incomplete. Nice. Well, now I'm going to pass. Let's see. I'm going to pass and double team uh, Cooper. So let's see if that helps. That was incomplete. So now we're going to definitely put in the pass. And let's see what happens. That was incomplete, looks like. So he's got a fourth and 10 from the 25. I don't want to say that's a gimme, but um, it isn't. But he should still make it. So we've shut Dallas's offense down pretty much. The only reason he's even got the field goals because of a great return. And we will have the ball to start the second half. So, uh, so that's good news, at least for us. I'm going to take a knee for the touchback. And I am going to go to the flat pass, even though it was recommended to stay away from that. It has been our bread and butter for this team. It's completed, and he gets a first down and more, but it was on us. It Was it on us? Yeah, first and 10 at the 20. Well, wait a minute. Why do we not lose yards if there was a penalty? All right. Um, I'm going to go flat to the split end. And there's another penalty, and that was us. So it's a first and 15. I'm going to go. Uh, end run with the halfback. I'm leaning a little bit too heavily on Spencer, but uh, it's a second and 12 now. Let's go short to the split end. And it's incomplete. See, the problem is Landry does not have that great of a card outside of a flat pass. All right, uh, let's go short to the split end. And he catches it, and he barely makes the first down. Great. So we got a first and 10 at the Arizona 30. Now I'm going to go line buck with the fullback long. And he gets a yard or two, two yards. So we've got a second and eight at the Arizona 32. I'm going to go end run with the halfback, and that's going to be stopped way back in the backfield, negative one yard. So we got a third and nine. And I'm going to go short to the tight end. And he catches it for a first down. Nice. So Landry is coming up big when we need him to. First and 10 at the 41. I'm going to start off with a long pass. Let's go long to the split end. Let's really give it, a, put some air under it, see what happens. And it's incomplete. I'm going to go back to the pro set. I'm going to go flat pass to the flanker. And it's incomplete. So third and 10. 
Third and 10, we're going short to the tight end. We're going to go to the uh, our bread and butter, the tight end. And he makes the first down. Key. That dude is just key. All right, so we got a first and 10 at the Dallas 45. I'm going to do an off tackle run with a halfback on first down. Spencer, and it's, he's offside. So that's a first and five, yep. And we're going to go off tackle with the halfback, just like we would have done. And he's going to get the first down, it looks like. Yep, first and 10 at the Dallas 35. I'm going to go end run with the halfback. We're going to mix it up and make him not know what he should be looking for. And he gets a few yards there, four yards. So we got a second and six at the 31. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. I don't know who that was on, but it was completed for a first down. Um, if I accept the penalty, it's Arizona ball in the Dallas 12, first and 10. Decline it, it's Arizona ball in the Dallas 25, first and 10. Well, you know, we're going to have to accept the penalty. I like to, I don't like to take yards away from players, but um, in this case, we need to at least get a field goal. So I'm going to go short to the split end. And he makes the touchdown. Touchdown, Arizona. Uh, yeah, I'm going to kick it. So Kick the extra point. Thought about going for two. But Corral, if you've been watching these games, you know that um, Corral is terrible on field goals. But on extra points, he's fine. He's the regular kicker on extra points he just is really bad on field goals and they get another great return all right so first and 10 for dallas at the 25 i'm going to run and key on elliot and there was a penalty on somebody and i'm going to accept the penalty yeah so he's got a first and 20 at the 15 now. I'm going to pass defense and double team um, I'm going to double team Beasley. And he runs. Damn. All right. Well. So he's got a second and 14 at the 21. I am going to put in the pass defense. I'm just putting in a general pass defense. And it's going to be incomplete, looks like. So third and 14 at the 21. And I am going to double team Austin. And he runs it, and we do stop him. So thank you for running the ball. And we are going to put in our punt return. Seven to three with 234 left in the first quarter. I'm going to run the ball. And we get a decent return. So we got a first and 10 at the 45. I'm going to the pro set. I'm going to go flat pass to the tight end. That play has worked great. Yeah, well, that's complete for one yard. Second and nine, I'm going to go end run with a halfback. And Spencer gets nothing. Spencer, the Ohio State star, gets nothing there. Uh, third down, third and 11. Yeah, we're going to put in that. We're going to put in short to the flanker. Did I get the, did I pick up yards there? Uh, no. Doesn't look like I did. Fourth and 11, we're going to punt. And 
And we stopped them pretty quickly, so that's nice. First and 10 at the Dallas 22, 102 left in the first quarter. We're still in the first quarter after all this action. Um, I'm going to put in the run and key on Elliott. And they do run it, and I might be able to jump on this fumble. No, I'm not. But uh, 24 seconds left, he's got a second and 11 because he, because we caught him. I'm going to put in the run again. I'm This time I'm just putting in the run defense. And we can't stop Elliott. I mean, I don't know if he passed it to him or he ran it, but we couldn't stop him. That's for sure. First and 10 at the Dallas 35, I am going to put in the pass defense. And at least I was right about the pass. And we do stop him right at the first down marker. And now we have moved into the second quarter, 1426 left. Dallas with a first and 10 at his 45. I'm going to put in the pass defense again, the general, just general looking for a pass. And we get it, but uh, we still allowed him nine yards. I'm going to run, I put in the run defense and key on Elliott. And we do stop him after only a couple of yards, but he gets the first down. And now I'm going to put in the general run defense which he should be doing with Elliot. So he's got Elliot. So first and 10, we held him to nothing there. Now we're going to put in the pass and double team the wide receiver. And I don't even, you know what? I don't usually do this. I don't usually do double teams and keying on people. But um, it seems to be somewhat working here. He's got a third and five. I'm just going to put in the pass defense. And there was a penalty on the play. And he's got a first and 10 out of it at the 34 of Arizona. So it was probably on us. So that was, we really make a lot of penalties and it's ridiculous the number of penalties we had. You got four yards on that second and six. I'm gonna put in the pass again. Now I'm gonna put in the balanced. Let's put in the balanced. Well, there's another penalty. Hopefully it's on him, but it isn't. So he's got a first and 10 now to 12 because we're just penal penalizing ourselves to run him into the end zone. I'm going to key on Elliott with a run defense. We keyed on him and he still got four yards. So second and six, I am going to key on Elliott again. And we're going to stop him way back. That was a huge loss. Now he's got a third and 14 at the 16. Would be great if we could hold him to a field goal right here. It would be awesome if we could do that. Was that incomplete? It was. So he's got a fourth and 14. He's got to kick the field goal. I'm going to put in the kick block just to see if it works. Doesn't. But he only gets a field goal. And we're still leading 7-6 with 9.59 left in the first half. And I am going to take the touchback there. Oh, well, all right. They made me take the touchback. Um, I'm going to go end run with Spencer. One of these times you would think he would break it, but he doesn't because he can't be looking run all the time. I'm going to go flat to the uh, to the tight end. There is a penalty on somebody there. Hopefully it's on him. We will see. But I get the first down, so yeah, hopefully on the Arizona 46 or on the Arizona 31. Um, well, again, I don't like to take plays away from guys but we need to move down the field so we have a first and 10 at the arizona 46 yard line i'm going to go flat to the flanker 
he does catch it and he gets eight yards it looks like yep second and two um i'm gonna go line buck with the fullback opener and he doesn't he maybe gets a yard no gain no so on third and two i'm gonna go line buck with the halfback and he gets stopped I, you know what this is one of those key moments in the game where i am going to actually go for it and i'm going to go flat to the tight end i usually am pretty good with this and it is it comes out big i'm usually i've got a good feeling about those those plays so we have another first down first and 10 at the dallas 37 i'm gonna launch it i'm just gonna launch it to the split end and see what happens on first down here well, he had to go to the outlet pass, which is great because we got seven yards on that, I think, right? Or no, no, it was incomplete. No, it was six. All right, six yards. Second and fourth, the Dallas 31. Let's go line buck with a halfback. And he gets a first down and a little more, so that's nice. We're moving down into his territory. Um, first and 10 at the Dallas 24. Let's try another long. Long to the sp long to the flanker. Let's go. Outlet, but it. I think it was complete. Yep, second and we got six yards on that, so it's second and four. Let's go off tackle with a halfback. And there is a penalty on the play, hopefully on him, and I will accept it easy. A lot of penalties in this game. Both teams are being penalized a lot. We've got a first and goal to Dallas 10. I'm going to go look in to the tight end. And there's another penalty. Um, let's see. If I accept it, it's ball on the one. Uh, I'm going to decline the penalty because we still got the ball on the one. Second and goal, the one full house. Yep. Uh, line buck, full back, long. And he gets stuffed. Third and goal. Ah, oh, man. Third and goal. Um, I'm going to go line buck with the halfback. And he makes it. Nice. Touchdown, Arizona. So we're going to kick the extra point. And there's only 419 left. So we're kicking it off. And he gets another good return. I don't know what it is with that return card of Dallas, but he's got a first and 10 at the Dallas 34. I am going to, I'm just going to put in the general run defense. There's four minutes left. So we stopped him after two. I'm going to put in the balanced here. And uh, we stopped him just short of the first down. He's got a third and one. I'm going to put in the run and key on the running back. And uh, I don't know what he's doing, but he's going to lose some serious yards and he's going to have to punt. So fourth and 10, I'm putting in the punt return. I'm going to try to catch it. 
and get some yards because we could possibly yeah we got a first and 10 at the dallas 36. i'm gonna go short to the split and there's a penalty on somebody and i'm going to accept it thank you dallas so um we're going to go back to the pro set got a first and 10 at the dallas 31. i'm going to go long to the split end let's see if we can get anything on that no he goes to the outlet man who's doing that out of bounds thing that i hate Uh, minute 52, I'm going to call time out after the play. And I'm going to do a draw play with the halfback. And he gets nothing. In fact, he uh, loses two. So I am going to call another timeout. And we're going to go short to the flanker. And that's going to be a good, good for a first down. Nice. Minute 37, I'm going to call my third time out. So there's a minute 30 left in the half. We're at the, we got a first and 10 at the Dallas 15. I'm going to go end run with the halfback. He won't be expecting that. He probably shouldn't be at least. And he does get a few yards. So we got a second and six at the Dallas 11. A minute left. Um, I'm gonna go short to the flanker. And he's gonna have a touchdown. Nice, great play by Landry. I'm gonna kick the extra point. Of course, Corral misses it, but that's fine. I mean, it's still 20 to 6. We've held him to two field goals, and one of those was because he had a great return on a punt and was started in our end. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no surprises here. You're going to put in the pass defense because that's the only thing he can do to try to score before the half. And we do stop him right after he catches the pass, but he's got a first and 10 at his own 46 now. Put in the pass again. And that's incomplete. So he's got a second and 10 at the 46. We're going to put in the pass again. And it's incomplete. So I think he has to, no, he's got a, Third and 10, gonna put in the pass. And it's incomplete. Now he has to punt, but there's only 15 seconds left. So I'm just gonna put in the punt return. And no matter what happens, like if they give me a choice to return it or not, I'm not going to, but it was a coffin corner anyway. Eight seconds left, might as well try to launch it and see if something really great happens but in general i'm not counting on it and it probably won't matter it's incomplete one second left i'm going to launch it again to the split end and this really has to go for a touchdown anyway even if he completes it it would probably be in the field of play all right so it's incomplete and that's the uh, end of the half so at the half point, after we return this for whatever we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the stats at halftime. And I'm going to take it for a touchback. So let's take a look at the box score. 20 to 6, we're leading Dallas. Landry is 15 of 22 for 132 yards and two touchdowns, no interceptions. Having a great game. 
Dak Prescott is only seven for 17 uh, for uh, 73 yards. Uh, Tim Spencer has 14 rushes for 23, which is not that great, uh, but he does have a touchdown. Kevin Long, two rushes for two. Mac Boatner, one rush for nothing. So we're not really, our running game is not really very good. And Ezekiel Elliott, even for Dallas, is 11 rushes for 14 yards. So he's not doing very well. The difference really is, um, let's see if they compare that. Yeah, right here, team statistics. Um, let's see. Total net rushing yards, you got 25 for Arizona, 14 for Dallas. We're both terrible there. Um, but net yards passing is where the difference is. We have 132. They only have 73. So we're almost doubling their passing yards. All right. Um, now it's really just a matter of eating the clock. Um, I'm going to go flat to the tight end. I mean, we do want to move the ball. We want to try to get another score, certainly. And that's going to be nice. That's a nine-yard gain. So we get nine yards. We have a second and one at the Arizona 29. Going to go line buck with uh, the fullback. And he's going to get the first down. And that's really all I wanted right there. So first and 10 at the Arizona 32. Going to go um, end run with a halfback. Let's keep him off balance. Let's keep him guessing. Might get some good yards there. He does get some good yards. He gets four. I mean, you know, I'll take that. Second and six at the 36. Let's go flat to the tight end. And it looks like it's going to be complete, and it is for a little more than a touchdown. So. We keep moving. We got a first and ten at the uh, at our own forty-five. Let's go off tackle with the halfback. Nice, few yards, two yards. And now let's go pro set, and let's go short pass to the flanker on second and eight. And they, uh, we fought, wait, we're going to, yeah, we're just going to fall on the ball because, yeah, and that's a first and 10 because there was a change of possession. Nice. First and 10 at the Arizona 40. Although we did lose some yards, but I'll take that. Going to go line buck with the fullback. And he gets a couple yards. Three. Actually, so yeah, let's go draw play with the halfback. And he gets some yards. No, he got nothing. All right. Third and seven, yeah, let's go short to the tight end. The tight end has been our bread and butter, and there's a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on him. Yes, it is. Accept it. That's the biggest, that's the other biggest thing. Not only are we double him, doubling Dallas in passing yards, but he probably has, either he has more penalties <clears throat> or they come at um, absolutely critical times. So we're going to go off tackle with the halfback on third and two. And we get, oh, I'm going to fall on the ball because that's going to be a first down. First and 10 at the Dallas 48. We got to stop fumbling, that's for sure. Let's try a long to the split end. Those never work. He always, but he seems to hit the outlet man, which is nice in some cases just as well. That's incomplete, though. Uh, second and 10, I'm going to go back to the pro set. We're going to go flat pass to the split end. And I think he caught it. 
Yeah, for four yards. So we got a third and six at the Dallas 44. I'm going to go, you know what, let's go off tackle to halfback. I just want to see if this will work. And it might. Well, it didn't, but we only got a fourth and two, and I am going to go, I'm in his territory. I'm on the Dallas 40, so I'm going to go pro set and flat to the tight end. And that doesn't work. So he held us on downs. He has a first and 10 at his 43. So that time it didn't really work, but you know, we did eat a lot of time on the clock. So I'm all for, you know, yeah, he's got a pass because we, we ate half the quarter right there. So we stop him. He catches the ball, but he has a first and 10 at, at R45, but we did stop him. Uh, right when he caught the ball, so. And uh, Prescott's out on his own, must run, and he gets some yards on that. He gets five, so. <clears throat> We're going to look for the pass again. And I don't know who was, maybe he was offside. He's got a second and ten. So, yeah. Uh, that was probably on him. We'll look for the pass. And uh, we stop him before he gets the first down. So he's got a third and five now. Uh, I'm going to pass and double team Gallup. And uh, Beasley catches it for the first down. So Dallas has a first and 10 at the Arizona 34. But really, this is all we really need to do. We just need to make him take a while scoring. That time, Elliot ran it for a good, good gain, but we're still going to put in the pass defense. That time we get Elliot. Um, for no gain. So second and 10. There's only 518 left in the third quarter now. So we stopped the receiver, but um, he did get five. So they got a third and five. We're going to put in the pass. Be interesting to see if we stop him, whether he would kick the field goal or not. But we don't even stop him. In fact, we let him have a touchdown. But only 442 left, so let's see what happens. So it's 20 to 13. He's within a touchdown of us. So we got to be careful. I'm going to take it for a knee. Pro set, flat pass, tight end. I got to go back to my bread and butter, what I feel comfortable with. And it's incomplete. Let's go flat again, this time to the halfback. Let's go flat to Spencer. And we're offsides or uh, false start or whatever. Second and 15, let's go short to the split end. And I knew he was going to sack Landry. I knew that was coming. I knew on one of these it was going to happen. All right, we're going to go long to the split end. I mean, the only chance of getting a first down is a long pass. Completed. And that's not going to be. So we got a punt. Twenty to thirteen, we're setting him up pretty good for a uh, potential. Oh yeah, babe! I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fall. Well, no, let's pick it up and run with it. And he got another yard or two. 
But anyway, that was great. We needed that. We absolutely needed that. We have a first and 10 at Dallas is 46 now. Let's go off tackle with the halfback. He gets nothing. So let's go flat pass to the tight end. And he will catch it and he gets seven. So we got a third and three at the Dallas 39. You know I'm going flat. And I'm going flat to the split. And he gets the first down. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. So we got a first and 10 at the Dallas 33. Let's go and run with Spencer. And he'll get some yards. He'll get some big yards. He'll get a touchdown. So now I'm feeling real good. He obviously was not looking for that. So it's going to be... Let's hope Corral makes this one, and he does. So it's 27 to 13. He's got to have two touchdowns, and there's only, a, there's only a minute 42 left in the third quarter. And we're going to jump on that bad boy. Yeah, I'm just going to fall on the ball. I'm not risking that one that close. We don't need to be doing that. Let's go off tackle with the halfback. Okay, he gets caught in the backfield. I mean, I'm game because we're going to at least eat the third quarter. Let's go flat to the split end. And it's incomplete. Third and 11 at the Dallas 19. Let's go short to the split end. And he intercepts it. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. We can jump on it. Change of possession. Yes. There was a melee there. But now we have a first and 10 at the Dallas 28. Dallas keeps shooting themselves in the foot with fumbles and um, all kinds of stuff. We got a second and eight coming up after, and we have moved into the uh, fourth quarter. So 27-13, moved into the third quarter, second and eight at the Dallas 26. Let's go short to the split end. There is a penalty on the play. And it's on them. Yeah, they're killing themselves with penalties. I mean, we've had a few at bad times. But, um, yeah, first and 10th, the Dallas 11. I'm going line buck with the fullback. And they weren't even looking for it. He's going to get a touchdown. All right, that's it. I mean, we win the game. I mean, you know. I don't even think I'm jinxing myself. This was a, this is going to be a big win for us. So, 34-13, no way he's winning the game. Uh, but I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to play it out. And, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to fast forward. Game, uh, autoplay to three minutes left in the game. And it's 34-20. Apparently, yes, 34-20. And we're lining up for a, what is it, field goal? Fourth and two? Yeah, I'll kick it. I'll kick the field goal. He may not make it, but I'll try. He does, but we'll who's the penalty on?
Uh, it's on us. Oh, man. That's all right. I'm, I'm going to still try it. But from this far out, yeah, you knew it. You knew he was going to miss it. We still got a two touchdown lead, though, and there's only two minutes left. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And they've got a second and six in their own territory. I'm going to put in the pass defense. Shouldn't be a shocker to anybody. And it's incomplete. And we're going to put in the pass defense. And he is, he's is—he's got a penalty on that. Third and 11 at his own 24. We're going to look for the pass. And we're sacking Prescott. Of course, he's got no choice. He has to go for the, the uh, we're putting in the pass. I wonder why we do so poorly against bad teams, but we do great against the good teams. We've got a first and 10 at the Dallas 29. Tim Spencer is tired, so. Let's put in Doug Dennison. And let's absolutely go um, off tackle with Dennison. And we're going to be off for a false start. Pro set. Let's put Dennison back in. Off tackle with Dennison. He gets a couple yards. Yeah. Let's put in Dennison again. Let's go and run with Dennison. He ain't going to be looking for that. Well, maybe he will. Apparently not, though. So now we got a third and four at the Dallas 23. I'm going to go short to the tight end. And it's incomplete. Yeah, let's try the field goal. He probably won't make it, but. Oh, he's going to. Shocker. All right, it's 37-20 with 22 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. We're going to put in the pass. And that's it. Game over. So let's look at the reports. Let's look at the, uh, the final box score on this. Um... I want to see the penalties for yards. Yeah, we had 10 penalties for 73 yards, but he had 11 for 103 yards. That really hurt him. Landry was 21 of 35 for 164 yards, two touchdowns and an interception, but Prescott was 20 of 34 for 175 yards, pulled in front of him out of the need to have to pass. Spencer had 26 rushes for 78 yards and uh, two touchdowns. Long had nine for 38 yards and a touchdown. Dennison had three for 15 yards. And Boatner had a rush for no yards. Ezekiel Elliott on their side had 18 for 68 yards. So there you go. And the game story was that Tim Spencer put up some nice numbers as the visiting team from Arizona topped Dallas by the score of 37 to 20. Spencer rushed the ball 26 times for 78 yards, scoring two times. Arizona controlled the ground game, outrunning Dallas 131 to 80. 
they had the advantage in time of possession having the ball for 34-04 and Arizona took the lead into the locker room at the half 20-6. They led after three quarters 27-13. So that's what you got. We have knocked Dallas down a notch. So they're eight and four and we're seven and five. We close within a game of Dallas, but we're still two behind Minnesota. And the Oilers are also seven and five tied with us. And next week we will be playing Philadelphia, who, if you recall, we beat 30 to 27, pretty much I think it, if I recall correctly, was on the last play of the game. So um, I don't know why we have multiple games against teams in the other conference. That doesn't make any sense, but that's how the computer set the schedule up, and I'm going to go with it. But that's it for me right now, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off, big win by Arizona.